Aloha. If you are looking for thought-provoking conversations and different perspectives than you'll find anywhere in the mainstream media on the topics and issues of the day, you're in the right place. I'm Tulsi Gabbard, former presidential candidate, United States Congresswoman, surfer, soldier in the Army Reserves, and veteran of three deployments. On my show, we go beyond the headlines and the sound bites. We cut through the noise to provide you with unique, nuanced perspectives on all sorts of issues, along with my unfiltered views. No partisan talking points here, no hidden agendas. This is the Tulsi Gabbard Show. This just in. Reportedly, pigs can fly. <laughs> We're going live to... Can't take another crazy headline? Well, here's something you can appreciate. The MyGM Rewards card gives you best-in-class rewards with four points for every dollar spent everywhere and seven total points earned per dollar spent with GM, bringing you one step closer to a new GM ride. That's the power of appreciation from us to you. Subject to credit approval, terms and limitations apply. Visit MyGMRewardsCard.com. Suspended by Mark Antonelli. I wonder what the doctors are thinking by placing me as the first woman in suspended ventilation for the first time. Part of a trial in which they promised in science fiction films of old to make it possible to fix traumatic injuries that would otherwise cause death. Professor Mark Insatiewicz preceded the operation. Human in cells are pioneers, pioneering the future of the human race. My heart will be stopped beating. Beating, I will lose more than half my blood. The team has only minutes to operate, with less than five percent chance that they will normally survive. I rapidly called around ten to fifteen centimeters, bringing the place of all my blood and my with ice cold slowly. My brain activity almost completely stopped. I am then disconnected with the recording system, and my body, which otherwise would be classified as dead, is moved to the operating chair. A normal or storage at normal body temperature, about 37C, our cells need a constant supply of oxygen to produce energy. When our heart stops, beating blood no longer carries oxygen in the cells. Without oxygen, our brain will only survive for five minutes before irreversible damage occurs. However, lowering the temperature of the body, my brain slows to stop any of the chemical reactions. My cell will extend less oxygen as a consequence. So my suspended body is placed in a see-through reflex tube of the brain. To the future surgery team, this test subject had two hours to fix, to fix, to fix, to fix, two hours to fix the person's injuries before they are warmed up and resuscitate the heart. Otherwise, he would be dead. This whole journey for me started when I visited my team at science and engineering team. Who want to heard of my medical results and the red brain fever? I was warned of no cure at the present day or time. So, like the first man to walk in the room, I wanted to be a new Armstrong or scientific. Human scientific breakthrough. Years passed, then to decades, and the blink of an eye, soon we came on the scene. We came upon the scene. The right laboratory door being opened by its anthropologist no. discovered a strange job no. inside a broken no. tube. No. So they decided no. to go to take it to the Imperial College no. for further examination. No. The technology department no. at the Imperial College managed to decode no. the old writing and hand it to the Imperial Guard no. to re inanimate the strange creature no. inside. I feel a need to wake up from my imposed no. slumber. My eyes flick open. I just stand to have the harsh light, harsh white light, and I am awake. The room that I am in is just white walls, no visible door, and a mirror on the wall. I make out whispered mutterings in an unknown language. A nurse enters the room. Now I ask if, uh, if I am now cured, and where, where, where the others at me? The nurse made no reply. She just walked out of my bed, smiled, disappeared, the sittering, which we seemed to carry on for days and days. She noticed something very different. The nurse seemed to be fading in and out, like a badly designed hologram. This 
At first, I thought this part of the road dreamy or odd, because of my, I had been heavily asleep and not fully aware of my surroundings. But then, I know, as I said, I mentioned earlier, I was trying to look for where the door could possibly be at the entrance, but there was seemed no door. Every day, the nurse would do exactly the same. I managed to slowly but surely regain my strength and my legs and my arms. What will it take to conserve 10 billion acres of ocean, 1.6 billion acres of land, and over 600,000 miles of river? What will it take to protect and restore natural habitats in over 70 countries around the world and in all 50 states here at home? What will it take? You. Together, we will make it happen. It's in our nature. See how your gift can help at nature.org. The Nature Conservancy. Protecting nature, preserving life. This just in. Reportedly, pigs can fly. <laughs> We're going live to... Can't take another crazy headline? Well, here's something you can appreciate. The MyGM Rewards card gives you best-in-class rewards with four points for every dollar spent everywhere and seven total points earned per dollar spent with GM, bringing you one step closer to a new GM ride. That's the power of appreciation from us to you. Subject to credit approval, terms and limitations apply. Visit MyGMRewardsCard.com. I decided to get up, despite being all the wires and attached to me. I managed somehow to disconnect them, but it didn't seem to be any alarm going off, which was really weird. Because normally if you disconnect these, these things, alarm would go beep, beep, beep all the time. Like a constant background no- nightmare noise. But nothing happened. I got up, and yet again a nurse come through the door to go round the bed. I went to approach her. As I approached her, I seen it. I went right through her, so my no. suspicions of her being a no. hologram were as a, no, no. true. No. This immediately made me wonder where I truly was. No. Was this a part of a nightmare or a no. dream? Suddenly, no. I hear Maya muttered voices from no. in behind the no. mirror. I faced the mirror and no. looked. Presuming it's like the old interrogation room. Mirror you used to see in detective ones. Like a two way mirror. You can't you can see they can see me, but I can't see them. So I touched the, the mirror and it said in loud voice, Who where am I? Who are you? Come I need to know. I I need to know oh, why I'm cured. I cannot I, I know that this is the future. I know I may be a freak. I know that I may have to readjust, but where am I? What year is this? But suddenly, a silver screen comes down over the mirror, and the white walls all disappear. I am surrounded by a machine. There's no human being in sight. I look, I look, but there's no such thing. These, they're just machines. With arms and legs, no visible brain. With a face of a sort that looks similar to human, but not truly human. So yet again, I ask them, where am I? Why seems to approach me? And it says in very broken English, we are the future. You have been awoken in the year 52133. We do not know what you are. Please tell us what you are. We have never come across you this this kind of creature before. What do you mean this kind of creature before? Is it that did you not? I am from the planet Earth. I am called a human. Surely you have not heard of us. Oh. You're. Oh. You're one of our ancestors then. 
You must be the missing link we've been trying to find. What do you mean, missing link? Oh, did you realize? We, we, tran- we transformed decades ago. We know what the you, as what you call human now. We no longer exist. We decided we did not need our flesh bodies. So we transferred our minds to emanation, and the emanation created us. But we are much so superior. What does that mean? Am I cured? Oh, you'll be cured soon enough. As soon as we can get you on the table and transfer your mind to one of our, our awaiting bodies. Oh, no! This just in. Reportedly, pigs can fly. <laughs> We're going live to... Can't take another crazy headline? Well, here's something you can appreciate. The MyGM Rewards card gives you best-in-class rewards with four points for every dollar spent everywhere and seven total points earned per dollar spent with GM, bringing you one step closer to a new GM ride. That's the power of appreciation from us to you. Subject to credit approval, terms and limitations apply. Visit MyGMRewardsCard.com.